that you're missing I will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow Whatever we do, we will be alright These holiday wonders will open your mind May all your wishes tonight come true Greetings, Internet. Welcome to an especially festive vlog. I know you guys are gonna love this if you wanna get into the holiday spirit. I am trying to think of all the clips I have in this vlog. I'm trying to do like a little intro clip here because I have a lot of random stuff, but all festive, all fun, all very vibey stuff in this vlog, I must say. I hate that I always use the word vibey. I feel like that's like my buzzword, but it's vibey, it's festive. It's, it's honestly just a feel good vlog. I have some clips from before Thanksgiving of where I decked the halls in the apartment. So I'm gonna show you guys that. I'm gonna show you guys my haircut. I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of pieces from Fabletics like this cute little Sherpa zip up and sports bra that I'm wearing right now. I'm gonna show you guys a whole array of Fabletics clothes in this vlog that I just love. You guys know I wear Fabletics like 90% of the time, ad or not. So I'm gonna show you guys that, a little haul in this vlog. There's so much festive, fun, cozy goodness to come, so enjoy. So lots of fun stuff in this vlog. Can you tell I'm caffeinated extremely? So, <laughs> so excited for you guys to see this vlog and Let's get into it. I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but I'm wearing silky pattern pajamas. I wouldn't say that they're Christmas pajamas necessarily, but my mom got them for me for Christmas last year. So they feel like my unofficial, official Christmas pajamas. And I'm wearing them because I'm about to deck the halls. We are about to decorate for the season. I have a bunch of boxes back here, a lot of things. Can you see my address? Okay, good. <laughs> I always get nervous with the boxes. I'm like, can you see my address? Anyway, bunch of boxes of Christmas things. I have a tree, my first ever Christmas tree that's just mine. I've never had one, I don't think. Like personally, just me, not in my family home, not with my roommates back in college. Like my tree that I purchased for myself. I think this is my first one. And I got the one that a bunch of people have. It's a seven foot skinny tree. It's like a seven foot by two foot tree. Danielle has the same one. Sarah has the same one, a bunch of my friends. Um, so I got it per their recommendation. I don't think I possess the skill of stringing lights. So I'm glad that it comes pre-lit. So we're gonna put that together. I have a star for the top. I have ornaments. I have um, something to wrap around it. I don't know what you call that. And I have, I think some, greenery to put about and that's pretty much all I'm doing like I thought about doing more I have a bunch of evergreen scented candles as well that I just got from anthropology this morning but other than that like I think that's really all I'm doing so when I say deck the halls maybe I'm uh, being a bit dramatic because the halls are not fully decked but for a studio apartment I think that that's enough like when you walk in you see the tree it's festive it's immediately festive but I'm gonna show you guys where I plan on putting the tree. So, oops, I just zoomed in. So the apartment is pretty clean right now. I just tidied up everything. And I'm thinking that the tree, like this is what you see when you walk in the door of my apartment. So I was thinking I would put the tree right there, like right where my Prada sign is. And it'll just like cover part of the Prada sign, which I think is fine. I was thinking that, or it can go in the corner over there, but I feel like that just like blocks a lot of light. Adam's coming over soon to help me and Colby. So they'll give me their opinion as well. But I just feel like I have too much stuff everywhere else to put it anywhere else. Like I don't think, you know, maybe like here if I move the chair, but I just have so much stuff over there right now, <laughs> which is definitely a problem. But the thing is, is I need all the stuff. We've talked about this before. I'm like a broken record. But anyway, I think that right there is my best bet, but we will be putting that up. I got some ingredients from Whole Foods to make a mini little charcuterie board. So I'm gonna do that as well. And we are so freaking festive in here. I don't know why it sounds like I lost my voice. I think maybe I'm getting a little sick, which is not good, but I'm gonna go to bed early tonight. All right, so while I wait for Adam and Colby to come over, I'm making a little charcuterie board. I told them I would make a petite charcuterie board. I have these little 
slate boards from Crate and Barrel. I have two different sizes. I have this one and I have a longer rectangular one. I got three different cheeses, two meats, truffle honey, and Spanish olives. Are they Spanish? Castel Vetrano olives. Those are my favorite. I think they're Spanish. I think someone told me that. Um, but I love the green olives. We have prosciutto, we have salami, and then three cheeses. And these are my favorite cheeses of all time, if you're curious. Two different like soft cheeses, like a triple cream. I love a triple cream or like a brie, fromage, and then we have a manchego. If you guys haven't tried truffle honey, seriously, get on the train. This is life changing. So let's put the board together. I think I have some knives, little cheese knives around here somewhere. Breaking news, ladies and gentlemen. You're probably wondering, what could the breaking news be? Oh my gosh. I cut my hair even shorter than it was before. You guys remember? I've been just slowly, am I wearing my shirt backwards? No. Okay, it's right. I have been slowly but surely working my way up in terms of how short my hair has been Go to the same girl, Sahar, at Maven June, if you guys live in New York or nearby, highly recommend. She is the only person I trust with my hair. So I went in to get my grays dyed and I was feeling crazy this morning because my hair was like around right here before, I think. Like here-ish. I like put body oil on because I was taking some pictures and it's like so sticky. Anyway, so my hair was like a little bit longer than my collarbone before, like right here. And I just felt like it was, it was fine. Like, don't get me wrong. It was a great length and I did amazing things with it. I thought I looked good, but I, I feel like when your hair is at that, like, I don't want to say it's an awkward length, but it kind of felt like an awkward length to me because it just like, my hair is very thick and heavy and it kind of just like sat there and like, didn't feel bouncy. Didn't feel like it had enough volume to really flatter my face, if that makes sense. So it, it wasn't bad but it just wasn't great. It could have been better. And I knew that. And I was just a little bit scared to go any shorter because I've never had hair this short in my life. Like apart from when I was like very young, obviously, and my hair was growing out for the first time. Like I've never really had this short of hair before. So I was nervous about what it would look like with my face shape. Like, you know, I don't know these things about like what 
flatters what, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like, I think this is perfect for me, perfect for my face shape. I don't even know what shape I have. Someone expert out there. Do I have an oval? Oval? Round? Square? I don't know. Anyway, I'm very happy with the cut. It even looks really shiny as well. They always put really amazing product in my hair, but this is the final chop. And I cannot with the sirens today. It has been just off the charts. I'm closing the door, shutting us in here. Um, I have no doubt that this is going to be the topic of Thanksgiving dinner. I just know my relatives are gonna be like, so um, you cut your hair. Are you going through it? Are you okay? Are you uh, single still? And I would be like, yeah, grandma, but uh, my hair looks great. It doesn't matter that I'm single. Um, anyway, yeah, needless to say, if you guys have been watching the vlogs, if you guys have been listening to my podcast, you know the guy I was like going on a bunch of dates with. Um, things are no longer happening with him. We have moved on. Wow, this is a good color. Um, anyway, so all is well though. Wow, this is a very pretty color. I just like put it on for the first time. This is YSL. 06 Rouge Volumptic Volumpt Volumpt. I know there's definitely a very fancy way to say that. Candy glaze in 06. And it's very pretty. Anyway, um, not to cut myself off, I've just been like a crazy scatterbrained mess just now telling you guys all this stuff, but um, yeah, so I am single as a Pringle and everything's fine, honestly. Not mad about it. It's the holiday season anyway. Like, yeah, it's nice to feel loved during the holiday season, but luckily I have a very fabulous family that makes me feel very loved and a lot of great friends. So it's fine, on to the next. But he missed out on this fabulous haircut. <laughs> he doesn't get me when I'm hot. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's a joke, everyone. Um, but I'm just very happy with the hair. And I've been doing, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm a little bit tanner than normal, um, but I didn't get a spray. I've been doing the Tan Lux tan water um, every Thursday, I put this on and it lasts for like a full week um, and it fades super nicely and I feel like it just gives me a nice glow. Like maybe you can't even tell, this might wash me out actually, but I do feel glowy um, because of this, like I have like a slight pigment to me. Um, I'm very fair skinned and I use the face illuminating tanning drops on my face and mix it with my moisturizer and every blogger in the history of bloggers uses these products, but now I understand why. Now I get the, the hype because I've tried them. Um, so yeah, I just use this Isle of Paradise mitt to spread it around. But yeah, I've been feeling really good. So um, I just did my like makeup and stuff to shoot a reveal video, but now I think I must do something. I must hit the town, though I am leaving tomorrow morning for Thanksgiving. So I'm gonna see who's around and yeah, all this. All is great, all is fabulous, all is festive, all is fresh and new. I love the short hair, I'm so into it. Anyway guys, that is it for the update, all right. My tree is just simply in the way of my shots. Good morning everyone, so I just woke up. I am about to go work out. Let me show you guys my outfit. My entire outfit is from Fabletics. I love this sports bra, it's really supportive and a really cute cut. If you guys notice, it has like these layers to it. So I feel really secure and like strapped in <laughs> for my workout. And these leggings are super thick with stay up. So when I'm bending over or I'm lifting something, I'm not gonna be worried about it being see-through, which is huge for the program. But in the meantime, I need to make my bed and then go sweat. And I'm excited because this outfit is fire. And I'm throwing on this zip up. My strategy is when I come home from the gym, I'm always pretty sweaty and I don't want to put my jacket, like my big parka on top of my sweaty body because that means I have to wash it more frequently and washing a parka is not very easy. So I put on like a quarter zip or a full on zip or whatever you call this. I love this one because it has the nice thumb holes. I sweat, I put this back on after my workout and then put my parka on top and it creates a, a barrier between my jacket and my sweat. So it's kind of um, genius. I don't know if I'm the last person on earth to discover that people do this. Like this is the strategy because I'm so sick of putting on a parka and being like, this smells like sweat again and I have to wash it again and get a dry clean maybe because some of my parkas are dry clean only. Anyway, I like how nice and 
flattering it is as well. Like, look how flattering. Anyway. I am wearing this little set from Fabletics. Look at this sports bra. I love the back and I love the pattern. It's this really cute, girly, but not too girly. Like, I like a white set that has a pattern on it. And I love this one. I love the pink trim. And the leggings are super comfortable, very flattering. I feel very secure in this. I could work out in this. I could just, you know, roll around town. <laughs> roll around town, is that how they say it? Such a cute set. So I'm gonna wear this while I get ready tonight for the premiere. And then I'm gonna change into my gown. I'm wearing a really cute dress. It's kind of an over the top look. They said the attire is party chic or something like that. Party, party chic. So I'm gonna unfortunately have to change out of my really comfy set and put on an evening cocktail gown, but it's gonna be fun. So I'm gonna get ready. My hair is mostly dry, so now I'm going to use my blow dryer brush and that is when the magic happens on the bob. I've been loving the bob and I'm gonna do a really dramatic makeup look. It's gonna be really fun, so let's do it. I did something so silly, but oh, so very classic for me. Anyway, I'm wearing clothes, I promise. I'm not naked. Um, I'm all dressed up for the screening, the premiere of Gossip Girl season two, episode one. It's a midi dress, it goes like all the way down. gown my boobs are on full display <laughs> um, but the silly thing that I did was I for some reason just thought it was like a different time than it was so time wise the premiere it starts at 6 
So I want to be there at like 545 just because I think like we're being ushered into the theater at six. So I want to be there right at 545. And that's what Brooke and Danielle are planning on doing. I, for some reason in my head, thought it was five o'clock right now, but it's four o'clock. So I also look naked, I promise I'm not. Um, it's just like a full hour early. I'm a full hour early. So I don't know what to do. I'm gonna paint my nails, I think. I never paint my nails, you guys know this. I'm gonna paint like a nude polish on there, I think, and just get some work done, I guess. Maybe film some TikToks. Like, probably, but I, I've never been early by accident. I feel like I've been late by accident, but I'm typically on time. Like, I pride myself in being on time, but the traffic is gnarly down there, so I definitely need to leave at a decent hour, so it's actually a good thing that I'm ready early. I just hope that my hair and makeup stays for another hour, but I bet it will. So, my earrings are super cute as well, and I put on this nice, like, moody red lip. It's kind of like a brown, like a brick. Red, brick red, but yeah. Um, anyway, that's uh, the update. I'm silly. I'm a silly girl. What can I say? Expensive, which I don't think I'm supposed to say. Um, and so you'll see, like, the outfits are bigger, the fights are bigger, the drama is bigger. We have a whole bunch of the cast here, and Eric Damon is here as well, our incredible costume designer. I'm out walking, returning my FedEx package, and guess what I see? It's actually pretty sunny out, but I just saw something that's really honestly like a full circle sort of thing. Like, you guys know, I just went to the Gossip Girl premiere last night, and look what I see right here. Look what I see. Look at that billboard, guys. Isn't that funny? This is like right in my neighborhood, too. We love a full circle moment. Now I'm walking to go get coffee and I haven't decided which one I'm gonna go to yet, which of my various establishments that I go to, but I'm just gonna pick randomly, I think. Christmas, I only want 